This large eastern diamondback rattlesnake is crossing a remote Florida road on a mission to get to the other side. I stopped to wait and he initially retreated and then soon started to cross again as he realized I was no threat. He really wanted to get to the other side of the road. A telephoto lens allows me to appreciate a snake like this from a safe distance. This is Florida's largest venomous snake that may exceed six feet in length. The eastern diamondback is the largest of all rattlesnake species and one of the heaviest venomous snakes in the western hemisphere. The coloration is very similar to the western diamondback but a few shades darker. The distinctive diamond pattern on the back plus its great size leaves no doubt about what snake this is. The tail ends in a rattle which is often held above the ground as we see here. The large and thick head is distinct from the neck and has a light bordered dark stripe running diagonally through each eye. The pupil is vertically elliptical and cat-like and there's a deep facial pit organ located between the nostril and the eye. Rabbits are their favorite food but they also eat rats and mice and occasionally birds. Rattlesnakes are not aggressive and avoid direct contact with people and pets but their massive size means they have very long fangs and produce a lot of venom so bites are especially dangerous. It is widely considered the most dangerous snake in North America. Bite victims should seek immediate medical care. Most bites occur when the snakes are intentionally molested or accidentally stepped on. Eastern diamondback rattlesnakes are often found in pine flatwoods, longleaf pine and turkey oak hummocks, sand pine scrub areas and coastal barrier islands. These habitats contain palmetto thickets and gopher tortoise burrows in which the rattlesnakes may seek refuge. This species is occasionally found in suburban neighborhoods where development encroaches into favorable habitats. If provoked, eastern diamondback rattlesnakes will coil their bodies and shake their tails, producing a loud buzzing sound. They may also raise the head and neck far off the ground into an S-shaped striking position. They can strike up to two-thirds of their body length, so a six-foot individual may strike four feet. These snakes are not aggressive, and striking is only used in defense as a last resort. Contrary to folklore, the eastern diamondback rattlesnake does not need to rattle before striking. It can lay silently and motionlessly and then strike without the usual buzz from its rattle. Eastern diamondback rattlesnakes that rattle are more likely to be heard, seen, and killed than those individuals that remain silent. This rattlesnake has 14 rattles on its tail, and we can't be sure how old it is, but it's clearly been around a while, reaching above normal size. <laughs>